What's up? What's up? Oh. What? Oh. What is that? Supposed to be? An engine? Something special. Yep. Nice. Nice? <laughs> Just nice? This is the first working free energy motor, a real Perpetuum Mobile Plus that works. A turning point in a revolution. Nice. He calls it nice. Oh, and does it really work? Mm, no. Oh, why not? Looks like it's going to work. Yes, it has to. What? It must look like it works, otherwise no one will watch the video. Which video? That in which the thing works. It works? Of course not, that's a tragedy. I see. Imagine that you could make money using a device that doesn't work. Simply in that way? Well, you just make a video about it. And it doesn't work. Right, but it looks like in your and video. people believe it? Yes, not all, but many. Man, how stupid they are. Yes, um, no, they are not, they don't know better and they are open-minded. So they believe it works? Yes, and some of them even try to replicate it with a lot of effort and sometimes a lot of money. This will disappoint them. Yes, and they always believe that the fault is there. They think that they didn't build the device right, that something like the configuration is still wrong. And well, because magnetic fields are invisible, it's really hard to tell where are the real error is. And the fault lies with yourself, because after all, the device also works for other people on YouTube. Oh, and if they are still unsuccessful? Then they make videos for YouTube. What? YouTube videos. But the devices didn't work. Exactly. Oh. Sometimes they even write that in the description. Sometimes? Excellent. It's just bad for the YouTube videos when you write that. Kind of make yourself untrustworthy. Oh, I see. So what's going on? It's all fake, right? All CGI, right. How to recognize it? Recognize what? The CGI? No, how can you tell in the video that everything is fake? Hmm, that all is fake. Yes, it's all fake. 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 Yes, 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 fake, fake, fake. Understand. Fake. Understand. And? Well, it's not that easy. Because of the CGI? Yes, if it's done well, then it's true. But mostly the YouTuber don't use CGI, it's too complex. Then what do they do? They assemble the device from known components and film that. Best components that look incredibly impressive for noobs, at the same time so ordinary that everyone can get them at the hardware store. And further? They stick magnets on it. Anywhere. The main thing is lots of magnets and large magnets because magnets are pure magic on you. Anywhere? Anywhere, but preferably with some easy recognizable system, maybe symmetrical. As long as someone could expect some great interaction, so if the whole thing looks like highly scientific for the common man, the desired effect is achieved. Just look at this pseudo perpetual motion machine. There is a giant electric motor, an insanely large ball bearing, copper wire wrapped senselessly around it, a few strange magnets and some more electronic scrap from the attic, 
then everything looks like outstanding retro technology. There must be something to it if this thing works, right? And then? They put it together professionally and show the viewer every single step of the assembly for at least 8 minutes. 8 minutes? It's an insider. Oh. And then, yet then, they start it and it runs as expected. Ta-da! How does it work? Oh well, most uh, use a hidden mechanism, a battery, an invisible motor or even hair dryer who drives the device with its air jet. Sometimes nothing at all, but just show honestly that the device doesn't work. Take a look at the constellation of these magnets, for example. What about it? What? Don't you read that? They are so pointless. Pointless? What's the point? Uh, I'll explain. Let's take the device apart again and look at the magnet separately. Red stands for the North Pole and blue for the South Pole. Like poles repel, opposite poles attract. Do you know that? Yes, from school. Now the YouTuber who built this machine positions any however polarized magnets around a rotatable magnet in the center. He had found two flat round magnets, two curved magnets and a round magnet with a hole in the middle in his crawling box. Are they pretty? What? Who? Um, uh, rather well. Why However, pretty? He then claims that the round magnet, the one with a hole in the middle, starts spinning. And not just twist a little, no, no, no. The magnet moves the heavy motor, he turns the insanely large ball bearing and generates additional electricity for your refrigerator and the power plant when there is not enough left. That must be an enormous power which the whole magnet has stored. Better not touch it without gloves, look at the energy. Yeah? What? Oh no, certainly not. Oh, it's not working. No, because the distance between the magnets are far too large because the magnetic field has only a small extent within which is very strong, within which can be used for such an engine. The usable area of the magnetic field does not overlap at all as you can see. That's why the polarity of the magnets doesn't really matter. If then additionally the magnetic field from the monstrous ball bearing consists of steel is magnetically shielded so that there is hardly anything left from the magnetic field interaction, then the whole thing is completely unbelievable. Oh, understand. Check this out. This is more likely happen when the magnet motor is started. Nothing happens there. And that's exactly what's bad for YouTube clicks. Okay, okay, okay. I understand. Because the magnet motors don't work and because people don't admit to failure, the myth drives on. How do we break the circle? Well, it's difficult. Because those who have failed don't know why they failed. Many still believe that they could suddenly succeed. So, I always say, seeing is believing. Okay. Seeing, seeing is believing. And anything else coming? Well, the magnetic field is invisible. Yes. So you have to see it to understand why such a motor does not work. That makes sense to me. But how does it work? Do you have glasses to see it with? Yes. Uh, well, glasses... No, no glasses. A model. So a model? With a model, I replace magnetic fields with gravitation. Gravity is also invisible, but its effect is known to everybody. So Newton? Yes, Newton too. But it doesn't need him at all because we almost always get along with gravity purely intuitively. We can predict from our experience what will happen, for instance, when we miss a step on the stairs. Ouch! Exactly. Okay, gravity then, tell me. Telling? Well, I'd rather show you. Look, magnetic fields behave in a similar way to gravity. When a magnetic object enters an area of influence of a magnet, then you can see it similar to when a ball rolls into a hollow. 
Do you see the similarity? Yes. Is that the model? Just a discovery. The model is coming now. The magnetic attraction becomes in the model a deepening with the ball in it as magnetic force. The ball which falls into the deepening is the effect. The depth of the deepening corresponds to the strength of the field. The forces are balanced if the deepening remains unchanged and the ball comes to a standstill there. A balance is created. This does not always have to be the maximum of the magnetic field. If a force is applied transverse to the direction of action of the magnetic field, then the ball is pushed out of the deepening and up the slope. The force exerted to move equal, mutually repulsive pulls of magnets towards each other is represented symmetrically to the attraction as a hill. The ball on it always tries to roll down the slope to the lowest repulsion. The poles try to avoid each other. This feeling is known to everyone who has ever tried to move two repulsive poles together. After the magnets have been dodged, a balance is also created. I use this model in all my videos in which I reveal why a perpetual motion motor cannot work. To get a real perpetual motion motor, you need a perpetual imbalance. This system looks like it is capable of creating a permanent imbalance. But there is no everlasting imbalance in our world. There is no such thing as an infinitely high hill and you cannot go downhill for an infinitely long time. Infinity is probably not part of our universe and so everything tends towards balance. I hope I was able to shed some light on the magical world of perpetual motion magnet motors and if you liked the video, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel if you dare. Thanks for watching, have fun!